to Narrowboat Precious Jet. My name is Steve Tyrrell and today is Tuesday the 24th of August and we are currently at Swan Lane Wharf on the Coventry Canal in Coventry, Swan Lane in Coventry. So, um, ended on a bit of a disappointment with the last video um, with the tap situation and I've kind of got in my head what I want to do now so I want the uh, I want all the pipe work to be exposed I did kind of touch on this with the last video I want all the pipe work to be exposed and I've been and got some taps from I actually got these from Amazon but that I don't know if you can see it's a bit small but for now until I find something a bit more to my liking that would do the job that'll be okay so we're gonna get the work surfaces off here at the boat um, <coughs> excuse me get the work surface off here at the boat sort the location for the taps out um, how far I get I'm not sure yet um, but we'll see we might you know we might get a bit done um, ideally I could do a go in the boat and cutting um, sorry go in the boat going home and cutting some wood on the table saw to suit the where I'm gonna mount the taps um, and then apart from that that's see how we go anyway let's um let's turn the camera around and show you what we're talking about uh, it's easier if you can see rather than me just trying to explain stuff so anyway welcome to the video um, as always if you enjoy the video then please give me a like um, click on the thumbs up down at the bottom and if you've got something to say um, comment down below I love your comments your comments are absolutely lovely it, and like I've said before even if you just comment and say hi I'm from Oklahoma whatever know where you're from obviously you guys all know Coventry in the UK is my hometown I've lived here not all my life but pretty much most of my life um, I love my city so um, let me know where you guys are from it's always nice especially you guys in America I love to know where you guys are from uh, it, it still uh, it, it still tickles me that um, you guys over the other side of the pond are, are watching my videos here in the UK my little narrowboat videos you know of me tinkering on the boat anyway so uh where'd i get to oh yeah comment down below and also if you're not already oh, oh, can't talk if you're not already subscribed then um please consider doing so i'd much appreciate it okay let's get into the video and um see what we get you know it, you'll get what you're given this week because uh, there's not a massive amount planned apart from doing the uh the taps so let's crack on all right so what i was saying before on the last video is I'm gonna have the taps mounted um, somewhere here look so they'll be mounted somewhere like this and that'll give me a nice height above the sink um, because I was told me the idea of mounting them down here but that's just too low I mean the end of the tap that, that's just too low so here would be a nice height um, so I'm gonna have a look at this now and see if I can mount them here um, I think that'll look quite nice have all the pipe work exposed and obviously you'll have the hot on the left hand side and the cold on the right hand side as always same as you would in a house um, and I think that's a nice height and all I need to do now is get a bit of wood cut there look if you see the angle that sits away from the wall look so I need um, to have a bit of wood under here just so that um, I can sit them nice and straight so what, what I might do is just use a bit of this because this matches um, my unit that I already have and like a couple of you guys have mentioned and also Aaron on site here he's also said you're gonna need a splash pack here um, so what I might do is measure from the top of the board here to the top of the gunnels and then get a piece of wood cut it might mean having it overhanging slightly but that's fine and what I'll do is I'll use a bit of this worktop and that'll be my splash pack here you know so and like I said it'll probably overhang I don't know couple of mil maybe so you, you might find to get me to the top there to the top here it'll overhang by about I don't know a finger's width which isn't too bad I'm quite happy with that you know so that that'll be your side view almost and you have a bit of a splash back there you know and then this this bit in here you won't really notice it this because the wooden trim here I know this is the bit from that side but your wooden trim will go down and that'll be trimmed off to the right height and then slip behind. So it'll kind of, that'll go behind the sink when I've uh, when it's moved out properly, but there'll be a bit of trim all the way along here. 
that will fit behind the sink and then that will go against it and all I'll do is where that matches there I'll notch that out and I'll cut the bit of wood out and that'll be that'll fit in there and treat. Um, the worktop's pushed a bit too far back at the moment it needs to be pulled forward slightly. So there you go that's what we're doing today. So worktop's off uh, and start making the pipe work for the taps both sides to connect up to the system. And once they bring the pipes come out here I can think about trimming the back of the worktops both sides just cut a little bit out. It would just mean um, drilling a circular hole uh, a 16 mil circular hole where they uh, where the pipes come through and then uh, using the saw just to cut the edges in and then the when I put the work surface on um, the pipe will come up it'll be behind the boards here but the pipe will come up and the work surface will just slide over the top of the board over the top of the pipe like that when I put the board in and it'll be a nice snug fit but you won't see any of that because that will be all be hidden underneath here under the gunnels that will be hidden because the, uh, the work top goes under the gunnels by about um, two or three inches, maybe even four inches. So, right, let's lift the work top off. Oh, can't talk again. Let's lift the work top off and, uh, and have a good look. Okay. Right, just been having a little bit of measurement here for the sink for the splashback. So I'm gonna see if I can have made, because um, I don't have a saw big enough to cut the back angle, this angle at the back here. Uh, I can do short cuts, but I can't do a cut that's, um, well, 23 centimetres high, actually. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a pain. So, um, if I went to a wood shop, they would probably be able to cut it for me. Um, so that's what I'm planning on doing. So I've got some measurements here, look. So it's 60 centimetres wide, 23 centimetres high. And then the top bit is 10 millimeters. So that's this bit here needs to be under the under the top here, needs to be 10 millimeters. So if I come up to this height here to run level with that, and then I can trim that bit of wood off there, look, I can trim that off and bring the splash back. So the splash back will be this high here. So I think that'll be suitable. And it's gonna be made out of this look. So I've got plenty of offcuts there from the work surface. So I'll just grab a bit of this, take it to the wood yard and ask them to cut it for me um, to their measurements, um, see what they say. But in the meantime, I can still lift off, now I've done my measurements, I can still lift off that top. Um, and um, yeah, I can still lift off the wood top and put the taps in, so I'll stand by. So that's kind of how it's going to be. Um, this pipe's a bit longer than I have not trimmed it off. Um, but that's how it's going to be like that. It's going to mount roughly like this, somewhere like that. Somewhere around there like that. Take this off here, that's just... So that'll be something similar to this. And there's the pipe work down there. Look, it's not screwed in or tightened up or anything yet, but that's roughly how it's going to be. So just having a, a play with, you know, positions and stuff. Um, I'm run short of uh, copper pipe now, so I need to go and get another length of copper pipe before I can do the cold tap. But that's kind of the position the hot tap's going to be. Um, obviously this is going to be more here, you know, be about there. And the cold tap will probably be where, about there somewhere. But yeah, you can kind of see how it's going up. Bit of pipe there, look. Connected. That's your hot water system. So uh, I need to go and get some more 15 mil pipe before I can do any more. So oh, stand by. I think that'll probably be tomorrow. Okay, back at the boat today, um, and it's Wednesday, the 25th of August. 
uh, more the same as yesterday today and um, just sorting out um, the coal that sorry the hot pipe I've kind of got sorted I know exactly where I want it and um, I've got uh, a fair bit of the pipe work sorted ready cold pipe today so let's have um, let's have a quick look at what we can do uh, a bit of pipe bending and um, sorting out the pipe hopefully things should go quite well and um, should look all right when I'm finished okay let's get into it Okay, right, not that you guys realise this, but that's the second time recording this because my mic is still playing up. So we've got a nice straight through compression joint there, look. Sorry about the lights, not great in here today. And then um, a nice neat little bend at the back there, look. I don't know if you can see that with the, with the light. And that runs up to a 90 degrees elbow. And that brings the pipe out here to another 90 degrees elbow, which will then run up to the tap. Uh, the pipe isn't fixed in at the moment yet. I haven't got any uh, of these little white pipe clamps. I don't have any more of those. I need to get some. And the problem is I ain't going to have space to put one in on top of that baton and run the pipe in. Um, I suppose I could do, I suppose. Um, but what I might do is... Sorry, it's not a great picture for you guys, is it? What I might do is just use a couple of big cable ties on here. I've got some big electrical cable ties. Um, and I'll just put a little bit of um, butyl tape at the bottom of the pipe to keep it away from the wood and that'll be good and then that'll sit roughly about here and that's ready for the, the pipe to go up to the tap so that's both the hot and the cold pipe plumbed in now apart from the, the final tap bits next job cooker work surface let's have a look okay right well, I think the mic's working if not it's tough um, bit of an advert now. This is where I got my um, cooker from, gas cooker. So this is also the same place. Um, float, float your boat is also uh, J Wolf Fabrications. Um, that's the guy who made my water tank. Um, so it's the same place. Um, can't recommend them enough. Um, unpaid promotion obviously but I can't recommend Float Your Boat and J Wall Fabrications enough based in Northampton um, so it's fairly middle and all this camper stuff he posts out anyway so right and with the cooker um, let me just get it out um, very competitive price not very good at this not very good at one hand working right let me answer the phone stand by Okay, we're back. Right, sorry. Um, so price-wise, very competitive as well. Um, uh, that's exactly what I wanted, is a two-burner. I was looking at the three-burner at um, Midland Chandler's, but I think the two-burner suits what I need better. Um, I think two's going to be more than enough. As I say, there's only going to be me and Lady PJ on the boat anyway. Most of the time it would just be me on my own. Um, but it's only ever going to be me and Lady PJ. So, right, let's get the uh, the template out and um, measure up where the work where it's going to go on the work surface. everything marked out now there's the nerve-wracking part of cutting it <clears throat> so 
So I've marked up the little holes, the little marks for your drill holes there. That's what you need to drill through. <coughs> Excuse me. So that pretty much matches what's on the uh, on the template now. Just see that you've got drill holes there in the corners. Same as on there, drill holes, corners. So it's just a case of me cutting it out now. Um, I need to cut around these squares, so that'll have to be a jigsaw job. Um, yeah. Unless I cut a, a marker here, a marker here, the same, and then come in with a handsaw and just cut the corners off with a handsaw, that might be a better idea. Because this will only be an off cut anyway. So. Right. Once I have this cut out, I can then um, finish sanding. I can, sorry, not finish, but I can then sand, clean up the edges with a router, these edges anyway, this this one edge, and that corner bit there, because that's the front. So I just route off that edge. And once I've done that, um, I want to revisit this. See that there, look? That's uh, water ingress from the window. You wouldn't believe it, it'd mark the wood like that. Anyway, that needs sanding down. Um, I want to revisit cutting this edge here. I might just take a, um, couple of mil off this edge. Stand by. Right, that's the circular saw cut done. Just need to get the hand saw in there now and finish it off. So, stand by. Bit of a hack to get the screws in the back. I think I um, I must have mismeasured the screws where the uh, drill holes were slightly, but um, yeah, because the, the back ones were about uh, three mil out. So as you just saw, I had to botch it a little bit and extend the holes, but you won't see any of that. And that's in. That's nice and neatly in. That is um, nice square edge look. All perfect. Let's get the measurements out. Lot. It's perfect. Two and a half centimeters. Two and a half centimeters. Excellent stuff. And there you go. Twenty-four and twenty-four. That's brilliant. So that is the cooker done. Just need to put the work surface back on there now and measure up. Make sure everything everything fits. Um, one thing I do need to do is at the back here behind the sink, this is the sink hole, at the back here behind the sink I need to um, cut in for where the uh, pipes for the taps are. But that won't be today now. I'm going to leave this on the trestle tonight um, and I'll do that tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's job. Okay and also while I'm here I want to tidy this edge up. The, the, the sink just doesn't quite sit square and I'm not quite sure why. You know? So obviously I've not quite cut it out nice and neat, but you know, I don't know. We'll have to have a look at it. We'll have to look into it and investigate it. I mean, it, it's an old 1930s sink, 1940s sink. So there's a good chance it's not, it's not the sink in square. You know what I mean? Because the hole was here. I did spend quite a fair bit of time measuring up the holes, so, you know, they should be good, but, you know, we'll make, we'll make the best of a bad job, won't we? You know what I mean? Okay, that's me for today. I, uh, I will be back here tomorrow. What day is it tomorrow? Oh, it's Wednesday today, and I so, said, yeah, Thursday tomorrow, obviously. So, I will be back here tomorrow. 
and probably Friday as well. I'm not going to be here Sunday because um, I'm helping a friend fit a clutch in a Land Rover Sunday. So that's uh, that's not a word day. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you bye. Welcome back to the boat. Um, Thursday the 26th of August, I think. 25th? Let me have a look at my phone. 26th. So it's Thursday the 26th of August 2021. Uh, this is where we got to yesterday. Uh, just finished cutting this in. So that's uh, that's pretty much done now. I just need to... Um, once I've varnished up, I can cut that in place. Um, but that is pretty much done now. That's... Uh, so I'm trying to look at some I'm not showing you. Yeah, so that's that's the cooker pretty much fitted now. I just need to obviously plumb it into the gas and screw it to the counter. I don't want to screw it to the counter until I've um, treated the counter. And then once the counter's fully treated, um, I can put the counter back in place, the worktop. So there's a couple of jobs I need to do before I treat it. This edge I need to just clean up and put a nice, just take the sharp edge off. Uh, just ease the corner off a little bit and then at the corner here just behind the sink I need to cut in a little bit here to give uh, space behind for the pipes where the water taps are coming up the water pipes are coming through so that's today's job is just cutting in these little pipe bits so I just need to have a measure up see how much space um, I need to cut back there's no point cutting it all the way back to here or somewhere up here because it will, you'll see it under from under the gunnels. I want it. I want it to be hidden. So, and it's coming by about two inches, um, just level with the back of the sink each side, coming about two inches. And then, all I will do is, um, let's see if I can show you. So when I decide where I'm cutting, I'll put an, uh, a 16 or a 19 mil probably be 19 actually give me a bit more space to play with I'll uh, I'll do a hole saw nice rounded edge and then I'll just jigsaw or, or hand saw up to it either hand saw is quite quick you know so I'll do the same here just drill a hole with a 19 mil hole boring bit uh, wood wood bit and then I'll um, I will just cut into it the hand saw so that's today's jobs Oh, another, another today's jobs is tidy up as well because as always the boat's a bloody mess um, for someone who likes things to be very clean and tidy I am just lax at the moment um, of keeping things nice and tidy so that, that's another job today is have a good tidy up sort all these bits of plumbing stuff out um, the trouble is I work until the very last minute when I have to go and then I, uh, I just tend to drop everything and just leave that's the issue so that's another job today is have a good tidy up um, get old dusty vac down there and clean up as well get all the floor cleaned and everything get it all nice and uh, dust free again yeah and then once the kitchen's finished and plumbed a um, couple of little jobs to do in the bathroom still uh, I still need to buy a vanity I have been looking but I've not seen anything that actually strikes me and I think oh that's amazing so I've not seen anything like that yet so once I've finished in the kitchen finished me a couple of jobs in the bathroom and then we'll move down and we'll start on the uh, the dinette at the front. Hopefully that'll be a bit easier than putting the kitchen. <laughs> okay, right, let's get into it. Okay, as you've just seen, cleaned up the edges a little bit. Um, I weren't quite happy with the fit of the sink and we'll see what it's like now. Once I put the sink in, we'll, uh, we'll test fit this in a second, see how it, see if it's a better fit or not, basically. Um, yeah, just tidying up the edges, taking a millimetre off this corner here and we took a millimetre off here and we just straightened the edges, round the edges here and round the sides took a bit off this edge here as well just to make it perfectly square um, if the gaps slightly bigger it's not an issue because I can fill the gap with a with a bit of silicon or something or you know you know what I mean but uh, if it's too tight the sink just won't move and you can't adjust it 
um, sideways like that. So what happens is, because the sink isn't quite dead square, because it's 1940s odd, you had a big gap here and a little gap here. And it was all because the wood was just a bit too tight and there's no room to swing the sink around to move it. So once there's room, I can uh, make it look a bit better, that's all. Okay, cup of tea time. Okay, that's the uh, that's the worktop back in again. Look, and that's your pipes just sticking out there. Look, just a wee tad. So you'll have a, a pipe come up here for a tap, and a pipe come up here for a tap, and there'll be a splash back here. The sink will obviously be there. <clears throat> so let's have a look, see what it looks like when I um, I just bend you down in a second. Let's go and try and put the uh, cooker in there and see what it looks like with the cooker in. Just uh, hang on a second. <coughs> some reason this corner wants to pop back up again. I wonder if it's sitting on something. Ah yes it is. Okay, now we know. Let's have a look. It's just sitting on the top of this bar here. So what I need to do is when I do the work surface, there's a little metal bar here that I just need to put a bit of a wedge under there to stop it catching. It's only a millimetre or so. If I just bend that down slightly, it won't affect the use of the drawer. You can still get the drawer out, although that top drawer there will probably just end up being a fake drawer anyway. So if I just open that up again, pop the little holes in. Where are we? About there. That just bends down a sec a bit. Yeah. In fact, I could cut that bar out of there. Just cut it out a little bit, cut where it's catching. So what do you think? It's not too bad, is it? Looks all right, that does. And then there's space this side here. So that, I set it here so it's dead in the middle of the drawers, which it is, which is perfect. Uh, and you've got space here to put, I don't know, a plate or something if you so wanted and also on this side another plate you know pans or whatever i've got a trivet to go on here anyway so i think that's going to look quite nice in the corner there you can have the oven which is the next job yeah i'm quite happy with that how that looks that's okay i'm happy with that okay so that isn't the finished job that's uh because there's going to be a splash back in here anyway but that is kind of what it's going to look like i mean obviously these pipes here they're uh they're a bit scabby and just the spare pipe i had i didn't want to uh, bend pipe and get it mocked up if i if i were going to use it so but that looks okay doesn't it that don't look too bad you know and the height wise that's a bit better Above the sink, a bit higher, so you'll see you'll be able to get pots and stuff under there and pans and stuff without clanging on the taps. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Or that kind of layout. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna make a splash back to fit in here. So it'll roughly go from here to across to here and up up to the level here. And that'll be the splash back, and then these taps will screw to the uh, to the splash back then. Oh, it's fallen off now look. it wasn't in place properly there you go kind of like that anyway ish that kind of style 
I mean the taps the finished taps might be a bit closer together or they might be a bit further apart or I might bring them all over and have them both together over one side of the sink I don't know yet not really made my mind up but that I'm quite happy with I can work with that now so excellent stuff right more jobs I um, don't know whether I showed you earlier this bar needs to be cut out just so that the cooker fits in there nicely it just catches on that bar there but that's not a problem because this bar is only there to screw to the work surface and it will do if I cut a gap here sorry if I get you in the camera if I cut it here and then cut it there just the other side are screw holes and also if you look here that bolt goes down through there and I need to be able to get that so if I come just under here about an inch under each side there is a screw hole to screw up into the work surface so I'm quite happy with that that's okay I'm quite good with that that clamp there for the work top that I'll have to move I'll put either it over this side or, or this side out of the way slightly and that's it we are pretty much sorted for sink and cooking jolly good okay that'll do it for now So back at the boat again today and it is Friday the 20, oh god what is it, 27th, Friday the 27th. Um, I've got no plans today for work, um, the only plans I've got for day, today is to tidy up all this junk here, um, tide, just to tidy the boat really, because um, like I said earlier in the other video, um, the other clip i come here do loads of work forget time um realize it's six seven o'clock at night and i've got to go and go home to get changed get to work so um yeah i quite often leave stuff just lying around uh, which i shouldn't i know and it does my head in so today is a tidy up day yeah right so uh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna force you into watching me tidy up but i'll show you the end product but as i say today is only um it's only uh, a tidy day today, there's no actual work. Okay, so, right, talk to you soon. Okay, that's a little bit more tidy, or a little bit tidier. Okay. Um, so we've got a little bit of, a modicum of organization here now. Um, so I've got my bin in the corner there, and then my squares. Then I've got my box of screws, my plumbing bits. Um, I keep all my spare bits of pipe, so I've put them all in a box now. So in the box under there, look, is all my old offcuts, all the old offcut bits of pipe, um, all the fittings I have in here. Uh, well, there's a 22 mil. I'll live there. Um, yeah, so all my plumbing bits in that box, and then my general toolbox, which you got my nightmare spanners in. Um, there's a reason why they're called nightmare spanners it's because they're absolutely dirt cheap spanners when i bought them when i was a kid of about 18 19 and i've had them ever since and they're a nightmare because they're shit <laughs> excuse my french but but they do the job so and then i've got me little ratchet spanners there from halfords they're really good uh, lifetime guarantee on them dirt cheap lifetime guarantee absolutely brilliant and then behind there I have my socket set which I don't really use on the boat tell you the truth um, that's also got a lifetime guarantee um, my friends are Mac tools dealer and uh, I got them off him so they're Mac tools they are they're really good um, and then I've got me power saws and me power drills and all that sort of stuff so all my, all my Makita stuff there yeah so and then I've got me wood stack there which really I should take out of the boat and get rid of, but I, I like to keep it hanging around, um, especially the worktop, because it's, um, if I do use that on the boat, which I will at some point, that is um, the same moisture level as what I'm gonna use in the boat, so it's nice and stable in the boat. Um, stops it bending and all that sort of stuff. I mean, ideally I should have it laid flat, but you know. And then there's me junk pile up here, which got me clamps, me old drill and all that sort of stuff. And then all my off-cut bits of wood I'll put under the tug deck for now. So they're all under there. I may use them again, I may not, but 
the options there if I want to. They're there ready for me. So there you go. I think that's all the jobs I'm doing today is just coming to tidy up. Right, that is the end of the video. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it like everything else, it, it's not really a how-to video or anything like that. It just shows you guys uh, what I've done. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, cooker's in almost. Uh, it's not fully fixed in because I still need to bring the counter out and um, put my fine, put my coat on it, my protective layer, or varnish or whatever. I have, I have, I have got something actually. It's like an oil, um, and it's designed specifically for worktops. So it's antibacterial and all that sort of stuff. So it's all really good. So that will be done soon. Um, we've got a fair bit of progress done. Um, we've got the cooker in. That looks really good now. Um, sitting a little bit close to the back, but I dare say I'll put like a, a splash back or something at the back there. Something to protect the wall at the back. Maybe a bit of stainless steel or something like that just to protect it. Okay. Like I said, that's the end of the video. So I hope you have enjoyed it. And um, if you have, please... Um, click on the thumbs up the like button down below that'd be absolutely great um, do appreciate it and if you've got something to say about the video then comment below also that'd be great I, I always answer back to all the comments um, so every time you comment um, there have been a couple where I've had the email to say I've had a comment but I can't see them on my um, on the feed so if you have commented then, um, then comment again and see if I can um, answer back to say because there's some that have come through and I've not been able to see them on the, on the video feed um, and that just leaves um, to subscribe so if you're not already subscribed I'd uh, much appreciate it if you uh, if you did and um, if you do enjoy the videos then don't forget to hit the bell icon and that way YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video right that's it that's the end anyway whether you're watching this uh, on a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday I hope you've had a great week or I hope you've had a great weekend. Either way, have a great time. And um, live your dreams, guys. Get out there and do what you want to do. Yeah. All right? Take care, yourself. Take care, you See you, bye.